Hey everyone, I'm Jim from the band Fighting Friday, and I'm coming at you from our Boston studio, me and the animal lord, Pity Hugo. Pity, 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 Pity. Today, I'm going to show you how using Pro Tools, Easy Drummer Pro, Superior Drummer, or Easy Drummer, you can get rid of your actual drum. Recently, when we upgraded to Pro Tools 10, I found it very frustrating to try and set up Easy Player Pro to actually play back samples and use using Pro Tools 10. Once I figured out how to do it, I figured, hey, why not share it with the World Wide Web? So step back, grab a Pabst, a Stella, or a Landshark, and in 30 seconds, I'll have you up and running. Okay, so this is how you set up Easy Player Pro to work with Pro Tools 10. The first thing you need to do, which I've already done, is create three tracks. The first is a stereo instrument track, and that's where you'll assign Superior Drummer or Easy Drummer, and that's your samples. The second track is a mono instrument track, and that's where you will assign Easy Player Pro. The third is a MIDI track, and that's where you send the ins and outs to Easy Player Pro and Superior Drummer. So this is how you do it. On your stereo track, assign either Easy Drummer, or I like Superior Drummer, so let's go with that. Pretty drums. On your mono instrument track, assign Easy Player Pro. Now, if you've ever tried to do this, one frustration you'll see is you'll see your samples, but without setting up the MIDI track, as you'll notice, you'll try and play these, and they won't play. It looks like they're playing, but they're not playing. See this? No sound. Endless frustration. What you need to do is you need to go into your MIDI, tra uh, MIDI track, which you set up over here, and set up Easy Player out, channel 1, Superior Drummer out, channel 1, and then hit Record Enable. Ah! drums. And there you have it. And that's it. What's great about this is you can use Easy Player Pro as a drum arranger to drop and drag samples to create loops and do all kinds of cool stuff that you couldn't necessarily do as fast or as easy in Pro Tools 10. There you have it. Hope this was helpful, and I hope it saved you time. Peace out.